Well hi everyone and welcome to the first of my video updates. I thought that I would try and do these every month towards the end of the month just to give you a sense of what I've been up to uh, in Parliament uh, and around the Hutt Valley uh, in the last few weeks. So it's been a real action packed last few weeks uh, for me. Uh, probably the highlight uh, of the last few weeks was having the Prime Minister in town uh, at the start of June. We had an afternoon in the Hutt Valley visiting businesses and some local charitable organisations. Uh, so we started off by visiting Wool Yarns, which is uh, a uh, innovative producer of uh, wool products uh, up in Taita. Uh, we also spent some time at Ignite Sport, which is a youth development charity uh, in the Hutt Valley, and there we announced a $15,000 grant uh, from the Youth Development Scheme uh, to al allow Ignite to uh, continue to roll out its programs uh, in Wainui Amata. Uh, they do a great job uh, around uh, the Wellington region actually, including in the Hutt Valley, and they're based uh, in Queen's Drive uh, in Lower Hutt. The thing that I was most excited about though was hosting the Prime Minister uh, for afternoon tea with uh, student leaders from around the Hutt Valley. So almost every secondary school in the Hutt Valley uh, sent eight to ten of their head boys and girls, uh, senior prefects, uh, along to afternoon tea with the Prime Minister uh, and, and me. And it was really great to see them respond so positively to the Prime Minister's message to them. Uh, he talked to them about his own background, his own upbringing, uh, and some of the lessons that he's taken from his time uh, in politics uh, and also business and great to see the students really interacting with the Prime Minister and I hope to, that we will make this an annual event and the feedback from it uh, was really positive. I also spent a week uh, in Australia in the middle of the month, very fortunate to go over there with my colleague uh, Todd Muller. Uh, we were very fortunate to meet with uh, former Australian Prime Minister John Howard and former Australian Treasurer Peter Costello and also the current Australian Treasurer uh, Joe Hockey and the current uh, one of the current uh, ministers in the uh, federal government over there, uh, Malcolm Turnbull. Uh, just really interesting to get a sense um, from the former leaders about their time in office and uh, uh, how uh, you manage uh, a growing economy, uh, but also very useful to talk to uh, the current uh, ministers in the Australian government about some of the similarities and differences between uh, New Zealand and Australia. Uh, both New Zealand and Australia are facing uh, similar challenges in the, in the future years, uh, an ageing population, uh, some problems with housing affordability, uh, how we continue to grow uh, in, a sustainable and, uh, in a sustainable fashion. Uh, so very interesting to compare some notes there. One of the other things that I was really excited to do in the last couple of weeks uh, was attend the MyBiz competition at Wainui Amata High School. Now MyBiz is a competition uh, for uh, basically for, for, for students at school to, make, to teach them entrepreneurship skills. So within three days the students have an opportunity to put together a business, come up with a marketing plan, come up with financial uh, planning, uh, come up with an idea uh, and pitch a product. And the final day of the program is uh, the judging, which is basically the students getting to present uh, in their groups uh, with their peers uh, to a group of uh, people from around the community and I was very privileged to be one of those judges uh, at Wanui Amata High School. It's the second time I've done the MyBiz competition, I also judged the competition at Taita College uh, earlier in the year. A really great competition, you can really see the students grow over the course of the, uh, even just the afternoon that you're there judging uh, and certainly the feedback is that they learn a huge amount over the three days. It's precisely these sort of entrepreneurship skills that I think are very important uh, for New Zealand's future. Finally I'll just mention my members bill which got drawn from the ballot uh, last week. Now some of you may know that it's a slightly random process, the way in which uh, bills that individual backbenchers like myself uh, can bring to Parliament. Uh, they literally get uh, plucked uh, from a ballot uh, and then got placed on Parliament's order paper. And I was very fortunate to have my bill uh, drawn last week and it will come up for debate uh, in a few weeks time. What my bill does basically is, is it is increases the support that the government provides uh, to people who altruistically want to donate an organ, for example, a kidney. And at the moment, uh, the government basically gives you the equivalent of the sickness benefit for uh, six weeks. So it's not a huge amount of money, and obviously it's a quite an invasive procedure, and quite a, and the recovery time is quite long from donating something like um, a kidney. So what my bill does is it, is it increases the financial support from the government up to 12 weeks uh, for, for your average uh, after-tax salary, or 80% of your average uh, salary before you have uh, the operation. So it's basically the equivalent of ACC. And that will make a huge difference, I believe, to uh, the support that's provided to people who uh, donate uh, organs and, and I hope also it will uh, just provide a little bit of a, a further incentive to people to do that because we do have one of the lowest organ donation rates uh, in the developed world uh, and you know we do have a very long waiting list uh, and the reality is that we need to do something about that and my bill uh, is a step in the right direction. So thanks very much uh, for watching. You can always follow me on Facebook or on Twitter if you want to know what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis or you can sign up to my uh, 
newsletter which comes out every Friday. Uh, it's called the Bishop Bulletin uh, and you can sign up on my website chrisbishop.co.nz uh, and you'll get that in your inbox uh, every Friday. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great uh, next month and I'll see you again then. Cheers.